All right, welcome back to Wrath of the Righteous, Drake's story. This is chapter four, I believe, and we are making our way through the shield maze. Um, just picked up an artifact, um, the Longsword of Radiance, and here we are. Yeah. First things first, Sila seems to be the most familiar with this sword, and it's a magical sword, so that will be far better than her current swords. I'm gonna give that to her. Okay. Let's see what's in these chests. And Mordant. Okay. I think we've explored... Beautiful. Wait, have we explored this area as much as... Oh, there's some, some loot I almost completely missed. Uh, can't be in there. Okay. Nothing more in this chamber. And there's Snoot. Back Let's from see what looking we can for... Do. Okay. I think checked out everything we can in this section, so I believe we picked up a key in the last chapter. Here we go. And so we are going to leave the shield maze. Can handle it. Saving. Um, that can't be a great sign. Okay. Um, we'll witness one way see. or the other. Have you? I will help drink where some I can. mage armor. Have you drink What's shield on your faith? Mind? What's this? I wonder. Um, I don't want you to have to always be ready for the worst. What's this? Feather step? Oh, that's not really gonna be helpful. Um, let's see, what do I have here? Just, uh, my type. That'll put things in alphabetical order. Um, shape bark's gonna be good for you. What's this? Bear's endurance. Um, What else would be nice? Large person would be good for Sila. You, I would like haste to have haste. Actually, you should not only have major armor, you should probably be using that as of now. Yeah, that's that'll be slightly better than my little plus one right now. Can I give Snoop? <laughs> oh, I can. Yeah. Well, that that's handy. All right. Uh oh. Praise Iomade. Here you are, huddled together like a herd of animals. Pitiful monsters, not human or demon. Even tieflings are less defective than you. But I, your master, Sava Melek, can make you better, stronger. I can satisfy your hunger, starvelings of the dark. Submit to me. No, we are descendants of creators, crusaders. Trusting a demon would be a betrayal of their memory. Silla. Well, who is the next descendant of the Crusaders who values old legends more than their life? 
beasts, monsters in human guise, reveal your true nature. This is the sweet, wholesome flesh of a righteous ASMR. Eat, underground crusaders. Eat the flesh of the crusader from above. Find your true strength. Drake rushes at the demon, but the air seems to grow thicker with every step. He feels like he's watching from underwater as Drake sees the mongrels fall to their knees one after another and crawl to the ASMR's body. He hears their fangs tearing through the flesh. Drake hears the sloshing of blood and hears the former mongrels snarl like animals, fighting over the most tender and juicy bits of meat. His companions writhe in agony. One clutches at their head. <laughs> Another doubles over. Drake feels saliva pool in his mouth. The metallic tang awakens hunger in him. The hunger turns to rage. This winged filth dares to try to bind Drake to its will. It dares to tempt him with the sweet scent of meat untainted by corruption. The wretch must die. Die! And still, the clarity remains with Drake. Somewhere deep down, beneath the veil of rage and anger, he senses the light trying to break through, and he will seize that light hidden within him. By sheer force of will, Drake masters his rage, and, almost in response, warmth suffuses him from within. Warmth and joy from a simple realization. He can win. Drake can save these people. The power of heaven bolsters and guides him. Its light breaks free and enveloping the mongrels, grants them the gift of blissful oblivion. Lowering his gaze, Drake sees a scarlet stain on his chest. The wound is reopened. Instead of blood pouring forth, he sees only radiant light. The demon convulses in pain when the light reaches him. What are you? Destroy this vermin! Hasilla points at you. He's already wounded! When do I kill? When do I silently emerges from the shadows? I'm no longer your slave, Hasilla. I will gladly kill anyone who pokes their nose in where it doesn't belong. Here comes trouble. The heck of a shot. Uh, missed well, thankfully. And Scoot's gonna bite and not do jack. But at least Hasilla did as well. Uh, I'm gonna have... Melia use her spirit weapon enchantment and charge at Wenduag. Nixer. Okay, that's that's not terrible. Uh, Land's going to fire on Wenduag and takes her out, and also gets a decent shot at Hasilla too. Uh, Drake advances on Hasilla and misses. Um. Sila will smite evil on Hasilla and fray. advance. And maybe Snoop can nip at her ankles and cause her to fall. And no. Silla tries again and misses. Melia comes over. Nicks her. Uh, Land's gonna you fire at Hasilla. One hit. Oh, critical. Nice. And Drake will try to pummel her. Eh, one good shot, one good shot. And seal the swing. Ow. Oh, mighty Savalamek, your faithful servant invokes you now. Demons, protect your mistress. Yet another obstacle. And she's summoned some demons because 
Why not? Let's see. Lan will focus fire on Hasilla. Uh, Drake will try to hit her. Are you still here? Uh, nope. Newt? Uh, nope. Let's have... Yeah. Melia try to attack us. And Sela? Alright, Sela takes Hasila out. Now some quasits, which hopefully won't be too much trouble. Uh, one decent hit. Oh, I keep... I forget to equip him with Cold Iron. Good guys always win. And Drake doesn't really do much damage against these guys. Uh, Snoot. Nope. Alright, the closet's getting into melee. Um, let's see. Can Melia you do some more damage? Nope. Uh, Alright, Seal will dance on this one. Ah! Okay. At least uh, Drake succeeded on that fortitude throw. It looks like uh, Quasits may have some sort of poison. You've crossed the wrong mark. Oh. I forgot again. Um. Okay. Let's maybe some smite evil will help against one of these Quasits. I got this. Oh yeah! Wow! And Drake immediately takes one out. Nice. Yeah. Snoot bites it, but. Uh, I think misses the trip, which makes sense. It's a little flying demon. Go for their heart! Melia stabs and misses. See the swings! Decent way. hit! Uh, the quest's gonna miss everything. Okay. Or oh, I don't even have that in his derp. Um uh, where Oh, I could have sworn I had. Okay, maybe I haven't picked it up yet. Okay. I thought Lan had something he didn't because you won't I am Alright, and Drake's Damn gonna you. swing. One miss, two miss. Snoot? <laughs> Nom? No Nom. Hell yeah, we'll stab. Okay, a decent hit, a decent hit. Sila, care to care to do any better? Maybe move into a flanking position. The light take you. Uh, minor hit. Man. Endure this. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of damage. Are you Drake. still here? Finally. Drake can stop faffing about. Well, are you going to finish me off? It's not exactly unexpected. What else are we supposed to do with you? You're not just a traitor, you're a monster. The young ones believed you and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh. I was trying to make them strong. What have you done for them? What were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe? You're useless, Lan. I led by example. I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. And they were turned into mindless animals. Ready to eat corpses at a demon's command! I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down and politely accepting death. I will rise above all this. Well, you'll still be stuck with your pride, chewing on rats. Drake inspects the wound on his chest. The bleeding deep wound on his chest is gone, like it was never there in the first place. The skin is totally smooth and unmarred. <sighs> it's gone. It was just there, and now... 
It's gone. It's got to be some kind of demonic trickery. You need to have a cleric look at that. If he had been marked by the Abyss, do you think some nobody priests will be able to help? No, the demons have branded this Uplander. And judging by the smell of his blood pouring from his chest, the demons will be able to find him wherever he goes. And they'll find you too, Lan. Huntress permits herself an indolent, floating smile. Her sharp fangs glint menacingly in the gloom. Drake asks, So you've been serving Salamelech this whole time? Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in a dark hole with no hope. I am of the Neethers. Our lives are short, but we are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered, and I follow whomever is the strongest. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were proud of your heritage, but you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little bit stronger than you. You're not a mongrel. You're a cave slug. You have no understanding of the meaning of family or tribe. <laughs> oh, so now you think you know everything about me. You're one of the best hunters in the tribe. It benefited me to ingratiate myself with you. So I acted in a way that pleased you. Drake asks, why didn't you stop us from going inside the maze? You knew we might uncover your secret. Saba Malik is always in need of new servants. You'd make as good a servant as anyone else, and then... <laughs> once you'd gone missing in the maze, not even the redoubtable land would have dared look for you. But then why did you come with me to look for the sword? So I could kill you quietly if you found it and stop you taking it to the village, you idiot. I would have told everyone that you got caught in a cave-in. But then the Uplanders showed up and I had to change my plans. So now it's a question of if Drake asks her to join him in hopes that she can be redeemed if Drake tries to attack her so that she won't betray anyone or if he simply tells her to leave and says he never wants to see her again <sighs> Drake in my opinion would have a really difficult time trusting anyone after they'd shown themselves to be a traitor so, he's going to try to attack. You're all bark and no bite. Farewell, Uplander. Next time, I won't spare you. She's gone. But next time, she won't get away. Damn it, Wendu. Why'd you have to go and... Anyway, there's no point crying over spilt milk. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll bring the chief and the rest. I need to clear my head. Chief Sell appears flanked by mongrels. The journey has taken its toll on him. His breath is labored and sweat is dripping from his bloated face. What? What shish? Anevia gives a low whistle. Well, I'll be damned. Turns out all Hulrun isn't as crazy as we all thought. There really were demons down here. I should have listened and sent a patrol down here, damn it. Orgus's lip curls in distaste as he tries to keep his distance from the unconscious mar mongrels. Drake asks, Anevia, how's the leg? Anevia winces slightly, but forces a smile. Better than yesterday. 
worse than the day before. I'm not gonna die, don't worry. Drake tells Chief So, you need to look after the young mongrels. Well, I don't know what they'll be like when they come to, but look after them, Chief. They went through something horrific today. Not everybody is capable of enduring something like that. It will change them forever. As long as they can hunt, the rest can wait. Uplander, and you, Lan, you saved them. Only the gods can salvage their souls. But we are a tribe. You will think of something. And when they're stronger, they can go up to the surface. The time has come. Craig says, it's time to get out of here. Chief, I think I'm going to lead our visitors to the surface. And I'm going to keep going. Something interesting is happening out there in the world. Maybe it's my chance to do something more useful than skinning cave rats. Sol heaves a sigh. <laughs> you were never one of us. You always looked up. You think I don't see these things. Our life is not for you. You must go. But where? Where is the way out? Lan says, beats me. But these beasts got down here somehow. Lan searches Hasilo's body and shows Drake some papers and a key. But I don't know what these documents are, but I'm sure this key will come in handy. And Nevia's eyes quickly skim over the letter, and she passes it to Drake. And the letter reads... Savalamek, this is my last warning. You need to act discreetly without attracting any more attention than you already have. People are already talking about the strange disappearances of Canabras' most righteous men. Keep a low ground, nurture your mongrel pets, and wait patiently. The call to battle will soon come and it will sound loud and clear even down there in the catacombs. Gather your warriors immediately after that, bring them to the surface, and lead them to the Tower of Estrad. This tower will be my final dagger, and I shall plunge it into the guts of Canabris. Our vicious servant Faxon made the tower his base of operations several months ago, taking command over the Templar forces in Canabris while the Grand Master was distracted by other matters. Faxon has already gathered a stash of weapons, potions, and other useful supplies, which he will gladly share with you if needed. If he behaves himself, you two should combine your forces. If not, just take his stupid little head off his shoulders and take command yourself. Mistress Minago. Those cheeky sons of... This is all the information on the cultists in the city. Their meeting places, passwords, their secret hideouts. I think we should show this to whoever's in charge of Canopus right now. As soon as we get to the surface, we'll find out what's what. Alright. Finally getting out of the shield maze. Uh, let's see what else might be on these bodies. Oh. Magic Glaive is always helpful, and some more potions and scrolls. Uh, oh, Dyra joined us. Maybe I can get rid of some of this stuff and stop moving so slowly. Alright, time to trade. First things first, bulk selling. I have 83 gold worth of miscellaneous odds and ends. Let's see. Uh, most of these weapons aren't weapons that people in my party use. It's not, um, yeah, dueling sword. Nobody uses the dueling sword. Uh, radiance. It's like, I'm gonna hold on to these just in case. There may be more party members that could use a composite longbow. Nobody uses a... This is a good glaive, but, like, nobody uses glaives. At least not yet. Uh, 
get rid of a lot of stuff, a lot of weight. And free up our inventory for more stuff. You know, as the adventurers want to do. Alright, let's see if she's got anything definitely want to pick up. Nobody uses light armor. I mean, even uh, Camellia tends to use uh, medium armor. Do they have, like, any sort of... Oh, Quiver of Cold Iron. This is what I was hoping that Land had. Um, I must have just gotten my playthroughs mixed up. But that really helps so that he can do full damage to uh, to demons. Yeah, that's the only useful thing I can really see. So we're going to save our gold for another time. Alright. I'm finally heading out to the surface. Oh. Ac shoot. Oh well. I could have picked up that armor and then sold it right to Dyra, but... Yeah, it'll be While the survivors wander the dungeons, the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. Here we come to save the day! The surface! Finally, I miss the fresh air so much. You can hear the tides of battle above, out of the pan and into the fire. Hello, surface world, here I come. Aren't you happy to see me again? Got some assorted loot, nothing else. Really pitch battle going on. The half orc before you, before Drake, wearing armor adorned with Iomade's golden swords is clearly exhausted. She obviously hasn't gotten much sleep over the last few days. There's soot on her face and fresh blood on her sword. Her hazel eyes are hard and focused, and her firm voice sounds accustomed to giving orders. She sizes Drake up, surprised, judging whether or not he is friend or foe, and opens his mouth to ask him something, but freezes when she spots Anevia. No. By the goddess, Nevi, I, I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This here's a new friend. He rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without him, we'd never have made it out. Let me introduce you to my wife, Arabeth Tirabade. Head of the Eagle Watch. Hmm. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canabras. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And thank you for getting Anevia out of there. Drake asks, where are we? The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders. But it's now been taken over by cultists. Drake asks, what is the target of this battle? When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. Since Wardstones are... seems pretty important in this context... Uh, the Wardstones are a chain of powerful artifacts keeping the World Wounds expansion at bay. The first and greatest in the chain was erected in the city of Canabras by the hand of the Inheritor himself, 
a golden-winged angel sent by the goddess Iomade. And for those not in the know, the world wound is essentially a huge uh, interplanar portal from the abyss where demons come from into Galaria. So, yeah, these things are kind of important. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. Drake asks, what's the situation in the city? The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Don't talk like that. Canabres hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Here, here, Sila. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. Thanks, Camilla Buzzkill. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Iomade abandons us, we will fight for Canabras. Drake asks, how did the Wardstone end up in the Grey Garrison? The demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time, their Lord Descari appeared in the flesh. He ripped the Wardstone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. I thought the stone was destroyed, but it seems all is not lost, yet. Descari has gone, but the Wardstone is surrounded by a horde of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. But how did he do that? He's a demon! The Wardstone should have burned his filthy hide! It should have. But what happened, happened. We don't know why. It says, let's not waste any time. To battle! That's the spirit! You, take Anavia to the rear! The rest of you with me! Drake hears labored breathing interspersed with disgruntled muttering. Horgus is holding his rapier hilt in a white-knuckled grip. A bead of sweat trickles down from his temple. Lord Horgus Gworm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent that anywhere in Canabras can be said to be safe right now. Kill That's right. Meat. Fighting spirit is the one thing that we've got plenty of. <sighs> Actual fighting power? That's not so great. Fighting know-how? Even worse. But fighting spirit? <laughs> at least we're rich in that. With a crooked <sighs> smile, Lan plucks at his bowstring to test the tension at it, then lowers his voice. For Iona Day! For the Queen! Kill the beast! Irabeth raises her blade, and the soldiers, inspired by her cry, rush into battle with renewed vigor. As it seems as though we have renewed vigor. Can't make the demons wait. Uh, just double check. Anything in here? No. Moving on. We are the light. Uh, they are the darkness. Spirit weapon enchantment. Charge at this cultist. And miss. Because of course. Snoop will wade into the fray. And miss as well. Cultists are getting into some damage. Alright. Sila is gonna move up. Smack this cultist. That's my good one. And Irabeth takes them out. Whoop, nope, I don't want to delay. Alright. Make every strike 
Great count. And gets one decent shot in. This one? Okay, yes. Straight can charge on this one. Good, good hit. Yikes. Ouch. Staunt. Oh no! An armored dwarf! Quick, walk briskly! The spirits demand your blood! Camellia, why I got this? Scoot. Scoot, uh, scoot, scoot. Up, try to take out one of these cultists. And duck. Come on. Right. You take out a cultist. Yes. And takes one out. Takes another out. Very cool. Drake takes out a cultist. Why don't those recruits do anything? No. Oh. All right, Camellia. Maybe you can not miss for a change. You are today's sacrifice. Huzzah! Snoot. Didn't put it to his knees, but oh! And that's what happens when you try to. Fire a ranged weapon while in melee range. All right, Sila. Let's take out a sharpshooter, shall we? Good hit. And that recruit just took that one out. And Irabeth cleans up the shot. Gathered. What is that? Huh, a door sealed with magic, I guess. Um, a door? I'll have to use a lockpick, but Camellia? I hope you appreciate Thank you! This. What's in here? What's what loot? Okay, sorted loot, potion, and inflict light wounds. Beautiful. Second floor. Hey, I know you. So you're one of these... altists? How's it going, pal? Wanna join? Your lot will all be dead soon, but we'll be alive. I, uh... I can't... Come on, leave those losers. The Crusades are over. The demons will soon rule the whole world. Here goes nothing. All hail Baphomet! Traitor! I swear on the sword of Iomade, you will answer for your betrayal. Do not fear! Do not waver! Ah. Some people are just cowards. Alright, Sila, show them what's what. Uh, let's see. Have her charge. And take a cultist out right off the bat. Excellent. Cultists are buffing themselves and getting themselves in a place. Irabeth takes one out. I appreciate that. 
All right, Snoot, let's see. Well, Snoot actually can't reach you know, over there. And that's the closest cultist, so... Oh, gets a good fight, gets a good fight. Magic missile? I'm not the darkness. Staunch and Vane takes out a cultist. I got this. Drake picks a cultist unconscious. Melia is going to move forward on this cultist. Decent, decent stab. Alright, got some recruits helping my characters. And Lan is going to do the Legolas thing. You won't survive me. One miss, two miss. Oh, that's disappointing. You are not doing the Legolas thing. You're doing the D. The All right. One good hit, at least. Oof. I mean, the NPCs are getting the business. All right, Snoop's gonna try to bite his ankles. And knocks him out. Or probably kills him with a bite. Staunton Vane's advancing. I'm sorry, the words just strike me as funny. Uh, Drake will move forward on this cultist. Good kick in the face. Mario advances on this one. And takes him out. Ow! Stop hurting my Drake. That recruit's going to take out that cultist. That's going to fire on this one. Oh, gets a good hit in. Um, yeah, Sila is going to... Here are some of Drake's wounds. There we go. I don't know why that recruit didn't do anything. But Snoot's gonna advance on his sharpshooter. A good bite. Didn't trip him, but a good bite. Kelta just took out one of his own with friendly fire. It literally. Are you still here? It's gonna take out. Takes out the sharpshooter. Um, I realized I forgot to give. Oh, yeah, her spirit the spirits trip. demand your blood. The world in and that helps her one-shot a sharpshooter. All right, Lan is going to fire. Make every strike count. He's got to advance first, get in range, and he's going to miss. All right, Sila, show this call to sports There you go. Oh! Ooh, dretch. That's good. Oh! Beerbeth takes out another cultist. Um, yeah, Snoot's gonna kill the cultist that he tripped. Not some injures a cultist. Good guys always win. And Drake misses against the Dredge. Melia gets a decent hit. Man is going to take a five foot step from the stretch. Oh, I didn't know. Now I'm not making mistakes. I equip the quiver of cold iron you the wrong and run. immediately takes that dredge out. Right. 
Azura advances on this cultist. This is... Alright, here Beth and company are working on them, so Snoop takes out the wizard. That's the last one, I think. Got this. Go for their hearts. I don't even know if I'm gonna get there in time to actually, huh? Maybe. Um so that is kind of a demon, so I'll leave the You won't survive me. Yep, and Lan will take out the last one. I'm all ears. Um I do want to conserve this ammunition since it's limited. Not now. Let's get this loot over here. They're already starting to slow down a little bit. And they're officially um, Uh, the constant um, struggle of over encumbrance. Any role playing games, uh, bane. Guess we're not going that way. No turning back now. <laughs> What's this? Do we have guests? <laughs> Just in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you... Oh! The face of this demoness could be called pretty. It had eyes. Her mouth slowly widens into a smug grin. <gasps> what an unexpected surprise! Staunton, my little sweetheart. Long time no see. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me? Admit it. You missed me terribly. How oh, is it long time to see when she does not have eyes? <sighs> Where I go? You again, you wench! The aged dwarf from Irabeth's troop, silent up to now, spits on the floor. His hardened, craggy face, like storm weathered stone, twists as if in pain. Minago, the one who. Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. Drake yells, out of the way, beast. That's not very nice. Staunton, my pet, haven't you told your new friends about me? That wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason why Teresin fell. Oh my, like butter wouldn't melt. What I remember is how eagerly you would run to our trysts, how you begged to see me again, how you promised you'd do anything I asked. By your own free will you said this, and now you claim that Dresden fell because of me. No, no, my dear. That was entirely your own doing. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat! Now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. 
Staunton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. I'll kill you! Well, looks like she doesn't want to be involved in this mess. Save the last one for me. Hey, stop hurting the Drake. They are really hype. Yeah, we really are getting our ass kicked. Good strikes of the Dretch. And Staunton's advancing on the demons. And we've got two more uses of this, so. Oh. Alright, a decent stab. Hey, if y'all could stop trying to kill Drake. Um, Come on. She doesn't have it. Um, yeah. Heal great if you can see one. Ah, The seal was gonna ready a cure spell, but the demon hit her and she lost the spell. That I don't care for. I don't care for that at all. And Snoop's gonna miss the church. All right, Lan. Time to use some more of your cold iron arrows. Let's see. Yeah, dredge first. You are this. Yes, took out the dredge. Hey. I'm gonna try this again. Stop. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. All right, Staunton, good at getting that cultist. Uh, Camellia. The spirits demand your blood! She had to out of hands. Oh, well, Into the Zula, I need you to start doing some damage. That's a pitiful amount of damage. Snoop, take care of this cultist, please. Oh, trip the cultist. Excellent. Alright, man. Let's see. Make every strike count. One good, one good shot up on the hands. Now they're hyper-focusing on Sila. Excellent. Drinks out cold. At least Stomp can heal himself. Alright, Camellia. You are today's sacrifice! Mm, one good shot of the cultist. Alright, Sila. Pick up this cultist, please. Guide my blade. Snoot. Snoot takes out a cultist. Alright, man. Do you like a less thing? The wrong and takes out one demon. There's one more to go. Alright, yes, everyone. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Oh, uh, see what got knocked out by one of the sharpshooters. Well, at least they're just unconscious. Go for their hearts! Uh, Camellia's gonna miss with that. Snoot. Nope. Alright, Lan. You won't survive me. Uh, I'm gonna get some good shots in. Alright, Arabeth finally took out that that demon. 
Stockman's waiting back in the fray. Camellia, you wouldn't uh, mind terribly. Charging on Sharpshooter. Eh, gets a good shot in, actually. Alright, and Snoot, if you could take out the wizard. And Snoot takes out the wizard. Um, I don't need cold iron arrows against these guys anymore. So. Endure this! Land takes out the sharpshooter. And here, that's advancing. So this is how it and they take him out. Okay. I am a very popular extraplanar hero from another planet. Why doesn't anyone here believe it? Was that Drake? Extra planar hero from another planet. Okay, that wasn't the backstory I chose, but interesting. All right, I need you back to up to full bars. All right, healed all the way. That's you healed all the way. You're not operating in any other buffs right now, are you? I want you to use that. And there's endurance. I want you. Yeah, he's this enlarged person. Or anything else that. Shield of Faith would be good. What does Shield of Faith do? Deflection bonus. Actually, doesn't someone have... Actually, yeah. Half or else we can use the Potion of Bark Skin. And screw it. Oop, actually, nope, nope, nope. First things first. Ah, not this time. Okay. Thanks, Lan. She doesn't know what that symbol is, but worth a shot. As soon as Drake steps into the chamber, his vision seems to darken and his knees buckle. Drake struggles to keep his balance. The air in here is laden with power coming from the stone. Suddenly, his head is filled with voices, screaming, whispering, cackling, threatening. Voices pleading for help, shrieking curses and taunts. He blinks, and the illusion passes. Congratulations. You made it all the way here. This is it, your precious ward stone. But what are you planning to do now, hmm? I could kill you where you stand. But wouldn't it be nice if you could die in battle like heroes? No. I want you to die in despair, scrabbling around like rats in the blighted ruins of your city, blind and broken, your flesh scabbed and seeping, and every moment knowing precisely what was done to you. Sounds terrifying. Except, that's how we've been living for generations. Oh, Lan. There isn't a soul that can resist the temptations of the Abyss. Even a stone can be turned. I'm not joking. Your precious ward stone, weakened from the injury inflicted by Discari, has almost succumbed to my charms. Soon the whole barrier around the world won't. The gift of your useless goddess will be a weapon of the abyss. Just a little more, and boom. <laughs> Every 
city with one of these eyesores stuck in the middle of it, from Canabras to Nerosian, will turn into smoking craters, and all the mortals into red sludge beneath our hooves. So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. Kiss me on my dainty hoof, pledge your loyalty to Baphomet, and when the world falls, its ruin shall be yours. Drake moves to attack. We will stop you, demon! Attack! Did we find trouble? No, they did. Ah, ooh, it's not Ah, crap. Waves of fatigue. That's ah, less than great. So that means she can't charge, but she can at least. Camilla can advance on Minago after using her spirit weapon enchantment. Camilla is going to use Smite Evil on Minago. Also, Divine Favor on her weapon. And the light take you. Rebeth, come on, thank you. Rebeth gives this cultist a good hit. Are you still here? Drake will try to help and take his ass out. All right, Snoot. Want to want to take a chunk out of Monaco, please? And it's not going to be helpful. Staunton, you could have. Oh, at least Staunton took out one cultist. Um, let's see. Yeah, it, it'd be so kind, Land. Take out this cleric, please, and thanks. Not my time. Yikes! What's what's happening? That's it. I'm tired of playing around now. You want to know what will happen when I'm done with the Wardstone? Here's a little demonstration. Demoness whispers a spell, and a wave of darkness sweeps through the chamber. Drake's companions wince in pain, but as nothing compares to what he feels. Thousands of voices once again burst into his mind, drowning Drake in their moans, screams, and sobs. Pain rocks through his skull. Drake says, You won't break us. We will never give up. We will never give up. We will not break. We will not run. It would be a shame if you died without ever surrendering. But honestly, I'll be satisfied no matter what way you die. The royal voice blends into an unbearable wall of screaming. Great's vision goes dark. Praise Iomade, you woke up. Healing your wounds was easy, but you were unconscious for so long, I was starting to worry we'd lost you. Drake asks, what happened? We couldn't stand up to the demoness. Her spells were too strong. <sighs> it's all right. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out, but Staunton and I managed to get you here to the Defender's Heart. It used to be a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing to strike back. Drake says, I found a cultist dispatch in the dungeons. It seems they are holed up in the Tower of Estrad. Demons have been filling Canabras with their spies and infiltrators for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people to attack the place right now, at least not blindly. I'd be grateful if you snuck in there and scouted out the situation. But just scouting. 
Don't be a hero. Drake asks, what is the situation in the city? Bad, but not hopeless. We're constantly getting news, and new sources of resistance keep springing up in the districts where everyone seemed to be dead. The survivors are gathering here. You should see them. Their faces, their eyes burning with determination. The city is destroyed, but our resistance is not broken. We will keep fighting. Drake asks, what do you plan to do next? You heard what the demon said. They're going to desecrate the Wardstone and blow up the whole barrier around the World Wound. That would be an even worse disaster than the World Wound's expansion before the Second Crusade. Not only Canabras, but every city with the Wardstone will be destroyed, including the capital. We can't allow that no matter what. We will retake it, even destroy it if we must. Iomade's gift must not become a weapon of the Abyss. Drake asks, can I help you in any way? First of all, we need to decide what to do with the stone once we get it. What I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A blind elf calling himself the Storyteller. He insisted he be allowed to examine the ward stone, and he raised the alarm when his study was finished. Even before the demon attack, he had found some damage or flaw in the stone. Prelate Hulrun dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the Prelate's opinion isn't worth much. I think the Storyteller knew what he was talking about. We could use his advice right now, if only we knew where he was. <laughs> I remember the Storyteller spent a lot of time talking to Staunton, a dwarf from my unit. You saw him during the demon attack. The elf asked him about the history of the Crusades. Maybe the storyteller told Staunton something about where we could find him if anything happened. There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault. But I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the garrison. Trouble is, I have no idea what to look for it. While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open. In case you find something we can use. The half-orc smiles at Drake encouragingly. And one last thing. The Eagle Watch has lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were killed, but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabras, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. <clears throat> one of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori. A new recruit in the Watch. She got along well with Sila. And she often went drinking with her. I honestly thought Sila and Janna had died together. But now Sila's returned with you and there's no sign of Janna. If you learn anything of her whereabouts when you're out in the city, please report back. Drake says everything is clear. May the goddess help you. We're still fighting, which means that Canabra still hasn't fallen. If you come across any groups in the city that can fight, send them here to the Defender's Heart. We'll need every fighter we can muster for the final assault. Yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. Well, it was our house. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You can take whatever you find. You have more need of it. All right, and I think that will do it for Chapter 4 of Wrath of the Righteous. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time for the next chapter of Drake's story.